Praise the Lord. My dear friends, I am happy and glad to speak to you on my favorite saint. The foundation of my occasion is hidden behind reading the lives of saints. As I pronounce my religious vows, the patroness of my congregation, St. Angela Merich's life story, began to play a vital role in my life. St. Angela Merici lived the last quarter of 15th and first half of the 16th century. During her lifetime, she witnessed geographical discoveries and wars. But little Angela, far from all this, grew up in a family which was uncontaminated by corruption and the worldly spirit of times. She was born around the year 1474 at Dazanzano of Brescia to a devout couple by name John Merici and Catherine. Her father John Merici was an agriculturist and owned a small plot of land. Their day-to-day -day life followed the rhythm of the hours of the day and that of the seasons, marked by work in the fields and at home by common prayers and night vigils. During the night vigils, her father would read the books of saints and virgins to his family members. Little Angela was fascinated to listen to these stories and desired to be more generous in imitating the life of prayer and penance. She used to disfigure the beauty of her hair with mud and ashes. At the age of 16, when she determined to persevere in goodness at any cost, she lost her father, sister, and mother in a short span of time. Though it was heartbreaking, she submitted everything to the will of God. Going through her life story, some of the life events that boost my occasions are first, she was a lover of Eucharist. She became a Franciscan tertiary in order to receive daily communion. Due to her influence, a superficial young student of law not only changed his heart, but became a holy priest later on. Secondly, she was an angel of peace. She became an angel of peace to the families lived in rivalry for several years. While she worked in the fields in the noon, when all of them left to their families for their meals, she would slip into the woods and pray at times and elevated in the visions. One day when she asked the Lord, is it my notorious sister is in heaven? And there in a vision, she saw her sister in the company of angels ascending and descending from heaven. The third quality, she was a pilgrim. All her portraits depict a staff in her hand, symbolizing her pilgrimages. When the ship of the pilgrims was attacked by armed Muslims, her intervention turned their heart. She lost her sight completely on her way to the Holy Land pilgrimage. So she had to contemplate the holy places with the eyes of her soul. After the pilgrimage, she restored her sight completely while returning. In one of her visions, she heard a voice saying, Before you die, you will found a congregation of virgins. So on 25th of November, 1535, she founded the congregation of St. Ursula and died on 27th January, 1540. Remember, St. Angela Merici is the saint of modern times too. Thank you.